Hey, hey, all you mentees, this is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition. And join me today as we look at the collected editions from DC Comics coming out in December of 2020. So please stay tuned. And welcome back, all you mentees. Now, before I get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? We put out videos every day. Check out our Patreon. It's a great way to support the channel. We got different tiers. And we also have Redbubble, where you can get our stickers, or I'm sorry, our logo on stickers, um, and hats, and shirts. But anyway, last month, um, when I was looking at the solicits for November from DC, got a little worried, you know, because there were only... There weren't that many collected editions. This month, we got a total of 43 collected editions. So let's go ahead and get started. We're looking at trade paperbacks, omnis, uh, hardcovers, maybe an absolute. I don't know if I remember seeing them. But regardless, let's go ahead and start this off. Uh, we're going to start with Aquaman, Echoes of a Life Lived Well. This is the final volume of Kelly Sue DeConnick's run, and I believe this wraps up everything for as far as Aquaman so far. One that I'm really excited about, Batgirl Returns Omnibus. This is the Gail Simone run when Barbara Gordon was rewritten as Batgirl for the new 52 universe. So this collects the 35 issues that she wrote plus the two annuals, so issues 0 through 34. And down here, I'll put what the book collects. Uh, I'll do that, like I always do. Uh, this retails for... $99.99 and has 960 pages. Uh, it also collects the futures and number one, uh, plus a couple more things. Uh, what I was going to say is that <sighs> towards the beginning of the year, we had the Burnside Omnibus uh, solicited, but that got canceled. But at least this one is still in the works. Batman Adventures, Robin the Boy Wonder. So we've had a Batgirl-focused um, trade paperback. This is going to be a Robin-focused trade paperback. One that I'm happy to keep seeing in the solicits. It's Batman the Cape Crusader Volume 5. Uh, this collects issues of Batman and Detective Comics, and that's because of the Idiot Zone crossover. So that's why you'll see both Batman and Detective Comics down there. Very excited for that line to keep going. And I know I've been asked, but I'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, Detective Comics by Peter Tomasi continues its run with Volume 4 Cold Vengeance. Batman the Chalice, this is a Chuck Dixon story um, based on, it's an original graphic novel and it also collects the Ankh, I think that's how you pronounce it, that little symbol, anyway, uh, one and two. So that's coming out in trade paperback format, The Dark Knight Detective, hell yes, volume four. Um, collecting, now we're past the 600th issue of Detective Comics and people have asked me how many of these Dark Detective our Dark Knight Detective and Cape Crusader we're going to get before we get in the Nightfall. I don't know how many we're going to get, but I'm thinking there's going to be probably, I would I say, at least six, maybe seven, depending on what they add for both lines. So we're on Volume 4 of one and Volume 5 of another. Batman, The Joker War, hardcover. This is the James Tinian run, and guessing by the price and the... Uh, dimensions, it looks to be a standard size hardcover. Birds of Prey, hell yes. I know it's not an omnibus, but it's a trade paperback. Uh, this is Blood and Circuits, collecting issues 96 to 103. These trade paperbacks, the original ones, have been long out of print. And uh, this would be the volume 2 of the new printing. Crisis on Multiple Earths, book 1, crossing over. Um, trade paperback edition. This has been previously collected before. This is the stuff from Gardner Fox, uh, Dennis O'Neill. Just it's all their stuff across Justice League of America and crossing over with the JSA. DC Comics: The Art of Lee Bermejo. Am I saying that right? I hope so. Uh, it's a hardcover. It's got uh, written stuff in there from Brian Azzarello, and it's got stuff from Before Watchmen, and a bunch of covers. DC's greatest detective stories ever told. Um, this looks to be a collection of stories about different detectives that are not Batman. So we're talking probably The Question, uh, Slam Bl Bradley, Detective Chimp. Yeah, there it is. Wesley Dodd, Sandman, Lois Lane, and even The Dark Knight Detective. Earth One box set. That is coming out. 
and it looks like it's going to be on sale in March March 3rd of 2021. $49.99 collecting Batman Earth 1 Volume 1, Wonder Woman Earth 1 Volume 1, and Superman Earth 1 Volume 1. By the way, because um, I know some people get a little confused when I say this is going to be the December solicits, and I'm talking about books coming out in March. The books are solicited for December, but when you're looking at Omnis or sometimes oversized hardcovers, they're usually a few months later. That's just how long people have to order um, for the book market and places like that. Green Lantern by Jeff Johns, book four trade paperback, continuing his run in those big thick trades. Green Lantern Circle of Fire, hell yes, this is um, anytime I see Kyle Rayner get a collection, and I'm really sad that his collections got canceled. So I'm excited. This is Judd Winnick. It's got Brian K. Vaughn, Scott Beatty, Beatty, uh, Jay Farber, and it's got artwork by Daryl Banks, Pete Woods, M.D. Bright. Dang, this is uh, this is some pretty good stuff. I'm a big fan. Kyle Rayner was my Green Lantern, and it was because of Judd Winnick and Ron Mars that he became my favorite Green Lantern. Hawkman, Volume 4. This is the Robert Vendetti stuff. And this stuff is amazing. This has been... I've read the first trade paperback, and damn it, I just heard that this series got canceled. So that sucks. But hopefully they'll they'll bring it back in some way. Heroes in Crisis, The Price, and Other Stories. This is a companion book, which uh, I think it features stories from Batman and The Flash and Green Arrow. But it does have some wonderful artwork, too. Because um, you got Joshua Williamson writing it, and Julie Benson and Shauna Benson, they're the ones that wrote the Green Arrow issues. But the artwork, it's Gillian March and Scott Collins and Rafa, Rafa Sandoval. Just imagine Stan Lee creating the DC Universe Book 2. So, again, previously released in an omnibus format, and this is what if Stan Lee had created uh, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Justice League Dark, Volume 4. Uh, this is the Ram V, getting into the Ram V series. And also wrapping up, I think, some of James Tinian's stuff. Justice League International Book 2, Around the World. Uh, collecting Justice League Europe 1 through 6 and Justice League International 18 through 25. As well as uh, Justice League of America when it was renamed 26 through 30. And annual number 1. So, hopefully that Justice League International Omnibus Volume 2 still coming out sometime justice league unlimited hocus pocus this is the stuff that's based on the cartoon and justice society of america the demise of justice hardcover edition so this is uh got artwork by rick burchett and tom lyle who i'm a big fan of and at this moment i just want to remind you all to smash that like button if you haven't yet and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet what are you waiting for but let's keep continuing with this list Legion of Superheroes Before the Darkness. So we're talking Jerry Conway stuff, uh, Paul Cooperberg, and J.M. Demetrius. So a lot of stuff from Legion of Superheroes 260 through 271. Legends of the DC Universe, Doug Mankey. Man, that is... This collects a lot. And as a huge fan of his artwork... It's just one of those, this is artist-centric, right? So you're looking at, like, Seven Soldiers, Frankenstein, number one. Uh, Justice League Elite, number one. The Man Who Laughs, number one, which is freaking awesome. That's getting a deluxe treatment. It's just, uh, it's all over the place for me, so... I don't know, it, but if you're a fan of his, absolutely get it. This, I'm happy that it's getting a deluxe edition, and that is Manhunter. It's a very short, uh story i think it's only 100 and some pages uh so this deluxe edition is the archie goodwin and walter simonson uh character of manhunter retails for 17.99 all right happy to see this omnibus back in the catalog new teen titans omnibus volume 5 hell yes mark wolfman paul levitz george perez roy thomas on Kenny Omar, talk pretty one day. Why did I say Marv Wolfman? Um, but it's also got artwork by Kurt Swan, Pat Broderick, Kelly Jones, Eric Larson, and retails for $99.99. So it is continuing the Teen Titans in omnibus format. And I know we have a volume six, 
also solicited, but we'll see. Knock on wood. Hopefully that will come out. New Teen Titans Volume 12, another way to get these stories if you are just getting them in trade paperback format instead of omnibus format. Richard Dragon, Kung Fu Fighter, The Coming of the Dragon, hardcover. Dennis O'Neill's character, uh, I assume this was DC's answers to Shang-Chi, but I'm not very familiar with this character, so that's going to be interesting. Let me know if you are familiar with Richard Dragon. The Sandman Deluxe Edition Book 2, I am familiar with this guy. Finally, this series is getting a deluxe format. Superman and Batman, this is one that I previously announced. Generations Omnibus. And it's got the generation stories from John Byrne. This is all by John Byrne, by the way. So you have Generations 2, Generations um, Imaginary Tale 1 through 4, and Generations 3. $75, 720 pages. Superman in the 50s hardcover. Just a variety of issues from the 1950s. Uh, another omnibus, and that is Superman by Grant Morrison Omnibus. Collecting the new 52 run, um, issues 0 through 18 and annual number 1. Superman Kryptonite Nevermore. This is also Dennis O'Neill. He's getting a lot of love. Maybe, maybe one day we'll get a question omnibus. Superman The Last Sun Deluxe Edition hardcover. So, not an omnibus, but it is Jeff Johns' run, but also Richard Donner. Uh, it has our artwork by Adam Kubert and Gary Frank. The interesting thing is, if you're looking at what it collects, it is missing the Bizarro story arc by Eric Powell, who, who did The Goon. And it's also missing the Legion of Superhero story. So, um, maybe they'll do another deluxe edition with that stuff, but it is deluxe edition, so it is as tall as an omnibus. What is not as tall as an omnibus, but it's at least solicited, and that is Superman The Man of Steel Volume 2 hardcovered. So I did an overview of Volume 1. These are standard size editions, and it looks like, if you look down here, that is the correct solicit for the book. I've seen a lot of mistakes on Amazon. Swamp Thing, The Bronze Age Volume 3. So this stuff has been previously collected in omnibus format, but this is a trade paperback format. Titans Burning Rage. Uh, this is the Dan Jurgen stuff, and it collects the miniseries The Burning Rage with artwork by Scott Eaton. Wonder Woman Book 2, Ares Rising. So excited for this. I'm glad they're also continuing this. I've realized it's not an omnibus, but this is William Messner Loeb's uh, Volume 1 just literally came out this week, I think. Or was it last week? No, it was this week, so I'm still waiting on my book. No, last week. Last week. Forgive me. Um, but I cannot wait for this. It's got beautiful covers by Brian Bolin. This collects issues 77 through 89, right before we get to the Mike Deodato um, art which introduces us to Artemis. And Wonder Woman by George Perez, Volume 5, previously collected in smaller trade paperbacks, as well as the Omnibus. Wonder Woman in the 50s, this is a trade paperback edition. I believe there was a hardcover that came out last year. And Wonder Woman Volume 3, this is wrapping up G. Willow Wilson's run. Um, before Mariko Tamaki takes over. Young Justice Volume 2, Lost in the Multiverse. And this is... Brian Michael Bendis's run on Young Justice, and that collects issues 7 through 12, and interestingly enough, we have a volume 3 solicited for the same month um, of December, but volume 2 comes out in December, volume 3 comes out in January, and that collects issues 13 through 20, and that, as they say, is that. When these books come out, check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties, Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now this is only for US customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. Now, let me know in the comments down below what you're going to pick up, what you're excited to get, what you're excited to see on the catalog that has not been canceled. 
I know it's kind of become a joke, but it's almost a sad joke, right? To expect cancellations. Hopefully that we won't be seeing much more of that, and hopefully we'll see a lot more books come back. I'm not going to lie, last month kind of scared me with just not that many books. This time, 43 books, it's nice to see uh, DC come back in the collected editions. So, uh, we'll, I guess, actually, their catalog should be uh, updating sometime towards the end of the month or early next month. But anyway, uh, tune in for the channel when I get that up, when I see any more Omnis come up, and I will let you all know. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, Redbubble, Patreon, you all know by now. More importantly, please everybody stay healthy, stay safe. Have a great weekend. I'll be back tomorrow for the live Q&A at 11 o'clock in the morning, and that is Eastern Standard Time. Much love to everybody.